last week we drew our um, umbrella picture and we outlined it in Sharpie. This week you're gonna go ahead and color it in crayon. Notice how I got most of my white spaces colored in the best I could. Um, we did R-O-Y-G-B-P for purple. Um, that's the color wheel. It's not the like the rainbow, R-O-Y-G-B-I-V, um, but this is just the color wheel showing you the three primary colors and the three secondary colors. You can color your um, person in the umbrella any color that you want to with your crayons. Whenever you're done, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a white crayon and it's gonna be hard to see, but you're gonna make like swirlies here on the ground with your white crayon. Because in just a little bit when we're done, we're gonna paint over these with like blues, maybe a little bit of purple if you'd like some purple too, to make a nice rainy scene and these white spirals are gonna show up like little raindrop spirals on the ground. And then up top, you're going to go ahead and make little raindrops coming down, little white raindrops all over the place. And those are gonna show up too. When we paint our picture, it'll be left with these white raindrops. After you've colored it, you've made your little white spirals and your raindrops in the sky. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your paintbrush and you're gonna take your paints and you're gonna get the paintbrush wet. Now you don't have to push hard on these paints. You can just pet them just a little bit, kind of swirl it around and get some of the paint color up on your brush. And then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna start painting in your background with your blue color. Get a little bit more water here and your little raindrops will start showing up. They're not gonna show up a lot, but you can kind of see the white in the background there where I put my raindrops. You might even wanna draw them a little bit bigger than I did my raindrops so they stand out a little bit more. So I'm gonna finish painting in my rainy sky. And then on the bottom of my paper, I'm gonna go ahead and finish painting the bottom, and it has like those little spirals that I drew that are showing up on the bottom here. You don't want the paint to be too thick so that they'll show up a little bit better. I'm just kind of using a lot of water and a little bit of paint to kind of mix in my colors here. And notice how you can see my little drops on the bottom and then my rain up in the sky. You can even combine a little bit of maybe some purple up in your sky or on the ground if you want to. It just kind of depends on what you'd like to do with it. And if you even draw your raindrops even bigger, they'll show up even better a lot like these spirals did. But when you're done, this is what your picture should look like. Don't forget to get a picture of it and put it on canvas for me.